History of Civil Engineering and its Profession in the Philippines During Spanish time, in more than three and a half centuries of Spanish subjugation, there were no Filipino civil engineers. Social prejudice constrained the repressed Indian builders to content themselves to be called mere maestro de obras, or the master builders, even if they design and build any type of structure that technology could allow at that time. Master builders as of today were equivalent to construction foremen. There were no civil engineering schools in the country at that time, and the only engineers with academic degrees were Spaniards. The walled city in Intramuros was established by the Spaniards as a model community. Only in the 18th and 19th century when Filipino engineers were assigned the task of maintaining, repairing, and or remodeling infrastructure systems in all pueblos or towns, including churches, convents, and government buildings after it has been built by friar engineers and architects incorporated with the European standards in engineering and architectural installations. In 1571, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi founded the city of Manila on June 24, 1571. The Spaniards started building Fort Santiago, or what has been known as Fuerte de Santiago, after the establishment of the city of Manila under Spanish rule. In 1577, with the arrival of the Franciscan Order to Manila, they began with construction of food and cane churches that succumbed to natural catastrophes. In 1586, designed and built by Jesuit priest Antonio Cedino from 1586 to 1587, it is one of the oldest stone fortifications in Intramuros. They began as a circular fault called Nuestra Señora de Guía. Fifteen eighty one to sixteen thirty one. Construction work for the Santiago Castle of Fortress was commenced in 1591 and was completed in 1634. 1596 to 1602, the Santiago Fortress was built between 1596 and 1602 on the land promontory between the sea and the Pasig River it was the most important fortification built in Manila. In 1589, St. Augustine Church is the oldest stone church in the Philippines. 1621, Don Bernardino Castillo, a generous patron and a well-known devotee of St. Sebastian, patron of archers, donated his lot, which is now the present site of St. Sebastian Church. In 1632, Puente Grande was the first bridge to be erected across the Grand Rio del Pasig. This wooden bridge connects Intramuros and Binondo. In 1635, Manila was hit by an earthquake and was reconstructed. In 1686, Irrigation and Water System the first artesian wells were built in Baltis, Pampanga by Father Manuel Camans. The water system in Manila, now known as the Metropolitan Water Works and Sewerage System or MWSS, has its beginning from the water works constructed by Father Juan Piguero in 1686.
The first irrigation system was constructed in Tanay Rizal by Father Jose Ricardo. In 1846, the Pasig River Lighthouse was the first lighthouse masonry built erected in the Philippines. In 1852, Puente Colgante, many suspension bridge in Spanish, the Terrali Hanging Bridge was the first suspension bridge in Southeast Asia. It was started in 1849 and completed in 1852 by Inchos de Compras. In 1876, a 192-kilometer stretch of railway track was constructed between Manila and Dagupan. In 1878, the concession for constructing five tramways in Manila and its suburbs was approved. In 1880, School for Maestro de Obras called Escuela Practica y Artes of Asia de Manila was founded. In 1887, on July 31, 1887, construction of the Manila de Cuban Railroad was started. There are two types of construction under Spanish regime were practiced. One is the cut adobe stone pavement and the other one is the rubble stone pavement or cobblestones. First Philippine Republic under Aguinaldo. 1898, the organic decree issued by General Emilio Aguinaldo Establishing the Philippine Revolutionary Government created four government departments and among which was the Department of War and Public Works. eighteen ninety nine the Malolos Constitution was ratified during a General Assembly of Congress. The first Council of Government of the Philippine Republic was created with Apollinaria Mabini as President of the Cabinet. 1890. During American regime, the coming of the Americans brought about drastic changes in our engineering culture. The new colonizers pursued benevolent policies that focused on English education, public health, free enterprise, and representative governance, thus bringing with them military engineers, tamasat teachers, doctors, and evangelists. Nineteen hundred foundation of the Liceo de Manila private institution offering academic courses for Maestro de Obras and headed by Leon Maria de Rio. The introduction of reinforced concrete in the Philippines was in the 1900s and its use the construction of the Masonic Temple or the Grand Lodge of the Philippines, the first multi-structure in Escolta, Manila. The 1901 Municipal Code of February 6, 1901 provided for popular elected municipal board members who are responsible for collecting taxes, maintaining municipal properties, and undertaking necessary construction projects. 1902, the first professional association of architecture and surveyors was born on September 14, 1902, with the creation of the Academia de Arquitectura de Filipinas (AAAF). Bureau of Engineering, Construction of Public Works, and Bureau of Architecture, Construction of Public Buildings were created by Act Numbers 222 and 268 
of the Philippine Commission and placed under the Department of Commerce and Police. In 1907, the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Santo Tomas, or UST, is the oldest engineering school in the Philippines. In 1909, Wawa Dam, also known as Montalbon Dam, is a dam constructed over the Marikina River in the municipality of Rodriguez in Rizal Province, Philippines. In 1912, the Irrigation Act of 1912 under American regime, the government initiated policies to stimulate national economic growth through irrigation development. And in 1919-1954, Metropolitan Water District was founded. In 1921, the Engineers and Architects Law, or what has been known as Act No. 2985, passed on February 23, 1921. In 1928, a group of civil engineers from the government sector formed the Philippine Society of Civil Engineers, or PSCE, which was the first civil engineering organization in the Philippines. Commonwealth Government. In 1937, the Philippine Association of Civil Engineers, or PACE, was formed from a group of civil engineers in the private sector. In 1938, statues from practice of architecture from engineering separated by law. National Assembly Bill Number 1850. In 1940, Highway 54 was the former name of Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, or what has been known as EDSA, stretching some 54 kilometers. That ends Chapter 3, Part 1. Now let's proceed to Chapter 3, Part 2.